Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 16 of Direwolf20's All the Mod 7 Skyblock series, where today I'm uh, making some unobtainium tools. Uh, I've been purposely holding off on doing much with enchanting. Specifically, I would love to get like looting and fortune and all that good stuff, but you know, all the other good things too. But I've been holding off on that primarily um, because... I knew better tools were coming, so I didn't want to, like, spend a bunch of time enchanting, you know, Vibranium when I'm about to get Unobtainium, right? And that's going to be, from what I can tell, pretty top tier. Pretty close to top tier. Oh, I need one more Unobtainium plate. Not a problem. Not a problem. Um, now, let's see. So this mod is all the Modium. Now, are there, are there the combo ore tools? Like, what can I do with this stuff? I don't know what this stuff is for. There's compressed versions of it and facades. That will eventually go towards making the ATM star, which is, I think, the end game resource. Looks like I need a lot of it, too. Looks like I need a lot of it, too. Uh, let's see, what else is there? There's also this one, Unobtainium Vibranium Alloys. Does that also go towards making the star? I don't know. I'm not sure what the alloys are used for. Aside from compressed blocks. I mean, they're cool looking. You know, maybe they go towards no, because they don't have a melted version, do they? They have they have a melted version of there's an unobtainium vibranium all the modium alloy. There we go. So realistically, it looks to me interesting. Unobtainium vapor. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it just makes the ingots. All right, well, there might be a use for it. I don't know. I'm not seeing it yet. But the key is, is that we now have the top tier tools. And I'll probably make an armor set out of, you know, unobtainium at some point. I mean, I've got a pretty good amount of this stuff. I'm hesitant to use it. It's not that it's super rare. I mean, it's doable, right? So could I just, should I just go ahead and like forget about it and do it? Yeah, but I think I need to take my existing armor and upgrade it, right? Isn't that the deal? Um, so Vibranium, Unobtainium, I should have enough. I should have enough. Let's go nuts, right? Why not? Worst case, I have to go mining again, which is not, you know, the end of the world, per se. Okay, there we go. And look, we've got plenty of the stuff left. Plenty of the stuff. All right. Well, I am decked out with ridiculous levels of armor and armor toughness. Holy cow. No crash damage from flying, water breathing. Immune to all damage sources using fire and lava. Uh, 45 armor, 25 armor. Protection from damage sources using wither. Magic resistance. Protection against shulker. Immune to nausea. Uh, piglins become neutral. Indestructible. No fall damage. Not... Not a bad set of armor. Uh, not not too shabby at all. Feels pretty bananas. Sweet. Oh, no rewards? Boo. I do want to try the Unobtainium Furnace at some point. Um, Rainbow Coal is something that we get as a reward. Now we're just showing off. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's probably exactly what we're doing. Uh, now, you can, by the way, get combs. So I do want to play with bees probably throughout the series because the Productive Bees is a fun mod, right? Um, and you can also get the seeds. So if you want to have larger numbers of these resources, you know, we can definitely do that with Mystical Agriculture. Um, so, and then there's the Aldemonium Cat Fasty. can always eat Absorption Regeneration. That's cool. Um... Looks like candy. We are in the end game now. There's the apple. Sweet. All right. So that I think covers most of the all the modem stuff, right? Um, what should we get into now? 
to really get going, because there's a lot of mods, obviously, to jump into. Uh, I'm a little bit unsure where I want to start. I don't know where where I want to go right now. There is so much to do that uh, I'm, I'm kind of unsure about the options. I'd probably want to jump into Apotheosis. That feels like a good call to me. Um, so there's two things, right? Um, is there a manual for Apotheosis? Um, that's a good question. Uh, Chronicle of Shadows. Yes. I want that. I want that. Give me that. How do we make one of these? That looks easy enough. Cool. Um, sweet. Enchanting module, garden module, potion module. So cool. Perfect. All right. So what I want to know and remember is specifically what the different types of enchanting processes there are. Um, so enchanting power, right? All these details. Let me read through this real quick off camera just so I can remember like what the different stats are. Because I remember bits and pieces. You know, Dyer's memory sometimes ain't the best. Sometimes not the greatest. All right, I pretty much remember how this works now, but there are new stats that I haven't seen before. So these might be new, some of them. So Eterna we've seen before. Uh, that's your primary enchanting stat. Basically modifies, you know, how high of a level you can get. Um, now in Apotheosis, you can go above level 30. So you can get some really powerful enchants, but you need to bump your Eterna up in order to be able to do that. Quanta is a variance of the enchanting process. So basically with Quanta, let's say that, you know, your enchanting could be like level, let's say, 50. Um, you know, with Quanta, it kind of modifies it a little bit, plus or minus the Quanta level. So it could be up to like 55, or it could be down to 45, depending on your luck. So it's a little bit of a, a variance of, of the uh, final power of the enchant, right? Uh, Arcana here modifies the rarity of things. So higher Arcana means you'll get a better chance at a more rare enchantment. Um, you can see the current weights by hovering over the Arcana bar in the enchanting table. Now there's a new one called Rectification, which modifies the lower bound of Quanta. So basically the higher the Rectification, the better, because instead of it being plus or minus five, it could be plus five to minus two. So it could be like, instead of 50 going up to 55 and down to 45, it would be up to 55 and down to 48, let's say. Um, so I think that's a good one to have is rectification. Uh, and then clues shows you uh, additional items in the preview window. So you have an idea of what you're gonna get when you enchant the item. Um, so you can bump that up. So you know how usually you can see one enchant, but not the others. If you bump up clues, you'll see more than just the one. Sweet. So if we go look at the enchanting table right now, we'll see the stats that we currently have. So if we drop an item in there, we'll see our Eterna sitting at 15 out of the max, which is 50. Um, we can see Quanta. Um, so Quantic Warping, reduction potential negative 15%, growth potential plus 15%. So it could go up or down by 15%, but you can see my rectification zero, so that's not great. And then Arcana um, is, is pretty good. Right now we don't have a lot of Arcana from the tables, but you can also get Arcana from the tool that you're enchanting, right? Um, so you can see right here, I can even get Fortune 2 right away, which is kind of cool. Um, so that's neat. That's very cool. We could also get some better tables too. Now I also want to check out the library, which sounds neat because it looks like a way to store enchants and that sounds kind of cool. I'd be down for that. Uh, level capacity is 16, level capacity is 31. Okay, good to note, good to note. I don't know quite how high things can get, but we'll find out. Uh, so the Apotheosis library is a thing we want to check out. And I know we have a lot of enchanted books and a lot of enchanted things, right? Uh, I think, can I search with a hashtag for fortune or looting? I guess I can't. I don't know if that's an applied energistics thing or not. Let's look at this. Let's get uh, different bookshelves from Apotheosis. Uh, so the good bookshelves to get, let's see here, are, uh, we definitely want probably a blazing hell shelf is one of the better ones. So let's look at the attributes, right? So currently we have a regular bookshelf, which I think is not amazing. Uh, it currently has plus one Eterna up to a max of 15. So we can put as many bookshelves as we want around here, but the most you'll get is 15. So regular bookshelves have an Eterna plus one stat. So you get one Eterna level, okay, per bookshelf. And as you can see, we currently have 15 Eterna, 
Uh, and the reason for that is that is the max you can get. Right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I could put more bookshelves around this thing, but it wouldn't matter because max is 15. So we want to look at other better shelves to figure out what we want to get. So the hell shelf gets you an Eterna of plus 1.5 up to a max of 22.5. The infused hell shelf, which I think is an enchanted, you have to enchant the hell shelf itself, um, with 45 levels. Uh, well, maybe not 45 levels, we'll find out. Uh, the that one gets you uh, 1.75 with a max of 27. You'll notice these also add quanta, which again can be good or bad, right? Because it's a, it's, it's a random chance. So you might get a better enchant from having high quanta. You might get a worse enchant. Unless you get that other attribute, right? And then the Blazing Hell Shelf has a plus four Eterna up to a max of 30, but a pretty high Quanta level and Enchanting Clues minus one. And you can totally mix and match these, by the way. So you can get up to the 15 with your basics and then get up to 30 with just a few Blazings. You don't have to use all Blazings, okay? Uh, glowing Hell Shelves here have a Eterna plus two, so not quite as much Eterna, and not quite as much quanta, but definitely a better arcana stat, which means you'll have a better chance at the better in chance. Say that five times fast. Sea shelves uh, modify eterna and arcana here, looks like. Uh, yep, and they can get up to a decent heart forge. Ooh, rectification minus 5%. So I think you want rectification, right? Rectification's good. End shelf, uh, decent. See, now end shelves are, you can get up to like the max of 40. Draconic End Shelf is an Eterna plus 5, up to 50. I, I feel like that's one we want to get, right? Um, Pearlescent B Shelf reduces your Eterna a lot, but boosts your Aquanta, so it gives you, like, a lot more randomization. Melon Shelf reduces Quanta a lot, but a little bit of an Eterna loss. So if you don't like Quanta, you can use Melon Shelves to basically remove it. And then you've got your libraries. Cool. Uh, it looks like there might be a few other... Oh, here we go. Shelf of Seabound Rectification. Oh, that's cool. Plus 5 Rectification. Plus 10. Plus 20 Rectification. I like that. And then some Enchanting Clues. And that looks cool. Can I get this? What is this? So we need Blocks of Amethyst per per blocks. We need Gilded Blackstone. We need lots of Amethyst for this. And Honeycomb Blocks. Okay. I haven't quite figured out where to get Amethyst yet, but I'm guessing there might be a way. Uh, we can get it from the Combiner. You can sieve it. Okay, that's good to know. From Basalt. Basalt, by itself, sieves. Does Basalt have any MC value? It doesn't appear to. Um, but that's also where you get Flux Dust, by the way. Is that the best place? Uh, or we could do it the standard way. But you can also sieve it from Basalt, so that's kind of cool. But you need another right mesh. All right. Do we have any Basalt yet? We do. Where did we get it from? Uh, so you can get it from the from the pebbles. That's cool. And is there any other sneaky, tricky, cool way to get basalt? Beehives can do it, and the igneous extruder can make can make it with soul soil and lava and blue ice. Does it use up the blue ice? It's a good question. A good question. Yeah, we might want to look into getting basalt because that would be cool. I'm guessing I just drop you guys in here. And we might have gotten amethyst from that. We might not have. Nope, no such luck. <laughs> How about flux? Yeah, we got some flux from it, so that's cool at least. All right, good to know. So we'll want to play with that a little bit. Um, cool. So let's get into some better bookshelves and then we'll go from there. Deal? All right, so I'm currently making a bunch of regen potions, which we're going to need. Uh, so this should be quick and easy. A little pick acceleration goes a long way. See? Time in a bottle was a good thing, Dad. Wahahaha. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so you guys go in there, and then we want some hell shelves, which needs nether bricks, okay, and bookshelves. Let's get, let's see, so these will be a plus one and a half, and that'll get me up to 22.5, right? But I want 
really to get the plus two, which will be up to plus 30. So I want 15 of these. Right? No, I want I want seven of them. Maybe eight. Let's go with like seven and see how that goes. So roughly seven. Oh boy, I need more books. Oh boy, I need more sugarcane. Cool. And then bookshelves. And remember, we can also get leather out of this thing. Okay. And then we want seven, which we can bump up to a hell shelf now. Now, where did I get these nether bricks from? Possibly from mining them in the nether? I could go get more nether bricks, can I? Yes, I can. A lot faster than it would be to get some nether rack and smelt it and whatnot. Right? So if I just pop straight down to here and vein mine. Yes, I see you, children. Do you have any idea how ridiculous my armor is right now? Clearly not. Clearly you are unawares of my ridiculously OP armor. That'll do. Look at my armor and weaponry. It's bananasly hilarious. What, did you steal a melon from me? What does that underman think he's doing? Did he literally steal a melon from me and then go through the nether portal? That's hilarious. That's the only way I can imagine him having a, a melon in his hand. Right? All right, so that should be the seven. And now we want to enchant these. So let's go see what our infusion enchant's gonna cost us. Uh, actually not great. Tombstone soul bound. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, just for fun. Eh, yeah, I don't want that. Uh, so what if we got a book, right? And we've just did that. And we could probably, that should reset the enchant. And then we should also get probably, what is it? The, what's the, is it the grindstone? Is that what it's called? Yeah, this dude. Just to get that junk off there. All right, let's try that again. Tombstone soulbound. Really? Is that all I'm going to get? Is there like a trick to this? Requires at least 22.5 Eterna. Well, there's your problem. Okay, so then what we want to do is bump this up, right? So if we pop these guys down here. How does that do me? That feels like we're currently value is 22.5. Cool. Current value is 21. Okay, so that'll be 22.5. And that'll get us the experience that we need. Cool. I feel like I should do the piston trick. Maybe. Um, get a few pistons. Make them sticky, which we should have plenty of slime from our adventures. So if I put a block here, 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 and here, what does that bring me down to? Six. Yeah, that brings me nice and low. What I probably want to do is get seven of these bad boys. Actually, you could probably all stay. Is there an easy way to... Well, now I'll break it. Okay, then I just need a good way to connect these guys. Will they work if I just put redstone like this? Dire with his vanilla redstone skills again. 
Nope, didn't think so. Was pretty sure that wouldn't work, but you never know. All right, so what we'll probably need to do... Do they have to have the uh, redstone going into them? That's going to be the next test. That's, he connects, but the others don't? That's weird. Yeah, that's all you're going to do? Why would you... Okay, and now you're not connecting. Oh, because you had this here, that's why. Oh, that's interesting. That's kind of interesting. I guess we could do that way, right? That's a way to do it. That's a neat that's a neat redstoney trick. I never knew that one before. I discovered that by accident just now. And that should get everybody behaving now, I would imagine. Ah, <laughs> cool. That's neat. Now, I'm probably going to want a bookshelf here to be eventually, right? So what I'll probably need to do is something like this. That'll do. Okay. That's a neat way to do it, right? I think that's cool. And then we can just get a level one enchant and call it a day. Cool. And now we might be able to enchant our bookshelf. Tombstone Soulbound again. Wow, that is just really sticking there, isn't it? Am I enchanting the wrong thing? Hell Shelf becomes Infused Hell Shelf. Requires at least 22.5, requires at least 30 Quanta. Maybe that's why. Maybe I need more Quanta? Yeah, that's why I need more Quanta. Okay, well, how can I get... How can I get more Quanta out of this? So I can't do it with that, because that requires that bad boy. Uh, big Quanta Spikes. I need Dragon's Breath in order to make this, so I'm going to have to resummon the dragon. That'll get me some decent quanta going on. Oh my, that draconic one requires a dragon head. <laughs> Looks like we can get one, though. With a little bit of effort. That one's not bad either. We should probably go get some Dragon's Breath. So how about I resummon the dragon, get some Dragon's Breath. And that would be cool. Okay, I'm done with that. Uh, get me some crystals. Okay. And then, yeah, quest completed. All right. And then uh, some bottles. Cool. While we're here, some more glass, please. Oh, available nine. <laughs> We're going to need more sand eventually. That's all right. I'm just going to go do the dragon thing. All right, so you're good. We've got the bottles ready to go. Yeah, we should be fine. Empty hand? Yes, empty hand. Um, you know what I should do? I should bring a piston so that I can get the thing. This way I can have the egg, and we'll see if we get more eggs. Because the egg only spawns once in vanilla Minecraft, is that still the case? Am I crazy? I forget. Sweet. Okay. This is loud usually, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just getting ready to, to lower the loud dragon noises. I'm curious if this updates in real time. Like, once it hears a sound, if it'll... Oh, hello. 
Okay, cool. All right, dragon. I'm gonna collect these uh, dragon breaths off camera. Uh, so I'll be back in a few once I get a bunch. <laughs> yeah, I always get the end era bottles too. Which is bad luck, but meh, it's fine. Not for nothing though, this dragon breath actually hurts me quite a bit. Uh, I need to be careful of that. Like, quite careful. I think that's enough Dragon's Breath for now, so let's watch how ridiculously fast this thing dies. What is that, four hits maybe? Probably five, because he'll, he'll regen a little bit. It's hard to get close to him with this thing, but... Yeah, look at that. Hilariously. Oh my, I mean, that's just ridiculous. You just have to get close to him, that's the real trick. Come on. Yeah, that dragon's hitbox is huge. Yeah, it would have been four hits if I could get to him before he regened. Got you. Got you. Goodbye. See you later. New egg or no new egg? Guess we'll find out. Yes, new egg. Hooray! Neat. Okay, away we go. All right, now that we have the dragon's breath, along with some other goodies, dragon scales and yat yat yat, uh, let's make... End shelves, which are just gonna let's get like let's go with seven ish of these as well. That sound like a plan? Okay, and then turn them into end shelves. Just need endstone bricks. Okay, you guys go away, and that's pretty good. Need more ender pearls. Three, four, five, six. Seven. Nice. And that should give me the quanta I need. So this should all be boosting as well now. And now we should be at 29 and a half quanta. Now, what did I need to get this guy? At least 30% quanta. So is that 30% now? 29 and a half as well. Are you guys not counting in the corners here? That's possible. Yes, correct. Twenty nine point five again, really? Oh, you're too far away. That's why. My bad. Thirty six. Nice. That's what's up. Okay. Cool. 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 Infusion. Oh, it's going to cost sixty nine levels. That's a lot of levels. Well, that's the minimum level requirement. That's not what it costs, obviously. But three levels at 69 is a lot. Uh, what if I removed you guys and threw you in there? Infusion's down to level 63. Yeah, not, not great now. Because it's 27. Yes, okay, that's why. That should be the minimum amount required. Yeah, now we get infusion at level 60. All right, that'll, that'll do. I mean, I do have a lot of levels in this thing, so I think we can pull it off. Do, 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 do. And then infusion. Yay! Now this one will be another level 60 infusion.
This one will be another level 60 infusion. I'm just making sure. I'm just going to assume that you're cool. Sweet. Okay. And then the one I said I wanted was the glowing hell shelf because that will give us plus two Eterna up to a max of 30 and a lot of Arcana, which is, you know, kind of nice too. So let's get, uh, let's say, a bunch of this. And then we could upgrade you. Hopefully I'm right about this. Okay, so where are you at now? If I wanted to bump you up, oh wow. Nice. 72 to hit infusion. Rough. Uh, let's remove some of you guys for a sec. Because I want you to be as cheap as possible, right? So 60 infusion. And then we can upgrade you to glowing. And that should be pretty bananas. Awesome, right? So now that'll get me up to level 76. That's crazy. Uh, so our turn is up to 38 out of the max of 50. Um, now this guy can get us up to 40, which is cool. Let's see if removing these guys is a good idea. Now we're up to level 80, right? So that's our current value of 40. Nice. Now I'm pretty sure that's the max we can get with our current shelves. Yeah, the end shelf, which is what I just made here, is a max of 40. Um, now I could get to Draconic, but that requires the Dragon Head, which I don't think I even have any of yet, right? I don't believe so. Right. Um, but that's not bad. That's not bad at all, honestly. That's definitely not bad. Okay. So I'll say we stick with what we got now. That should be cool. Uh, the, the only way we can bump up to our return of 50 is with the, with the Dragon Heads. I don't see another guy that gets up higher than 40, right? Do we have anything that goes higher than 40? Not really. Now, I wouldn't mind these rectification boosts, but they were pretty pricey, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, they needed Amethyst, and they needed Amethyst and Gilded, and they needed Amethyst and Honeycomb, uh, and they needed Infused Seashells with the Chapeuse Marine and Pufferfish. All right, so they're a little pricey, but not too bad. So now, what would I get if I toss this in here? Soul Reaper 5, Severing 7, Sweeping Edge 3. It's pretty bananas, right? Silk Touch, Efficiency 6, Tombstone Soulbound. Now we can also do some other cool stuff. Um, so were there quests that we just completed? Oh yeah, this one. Cool. I could definitely use the experience. I'm going to keep a decent amount, though, because I feel like we're probably going to want to use it in a sec. So now let's look at what do we have by way of books, because there's special books that you can get. Um, these guys, yes. Tomes is what they're called. So basically it's like a book, but it can only accept certain types of enchantments, right? So if I did this, or I did pickaxe enchantments, for example, right? Now we can throw this in there and see if we can't get something cool for a pickaxe, right? Scavenger 2, Soul Reaper Unbreaking. What's so I'm just curious, how hard would it be to get the Enchanting Clues plus two? Shelf of Masterful Sight. Doesn't look terrible. Needs two infused hell shelves, though, and some night vision potions, but otherwise not terrible. We do need amethyst shards, though. So we have to get a little lucky with basalt. I wonder if there's any basalt in that in that other dimension or something like that.
Any luck, Amethyst? Nope. If I wanted basalt seeds, right? Because can't I get these from, what do I need? Oh, I need nether essence. Okay, well, that's not bad. That's stuff that I can get and or make. Yeah. And then I need ice essence. I'm sure I can come up with a way. So I don't need basalt to make basalt seeds. So let's toss the last in there and hope for some luck. No luck for Dyer. Minecraft RNG hates me today. Story of my life. All right. Back in a sec once I decide what I want to do here. Because I'd like to see what these other stats are that I'm getting. All right. Since I know I want to get into mystical agriculture anyway, let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode. We'll come back next time. We'll look into getting into mystical agriculture. So I assume for mystical agriculture, I've already got a few inferior Essence, which I've been getting from sieving crushed netherrack with my netherite mesh. So that's cool. And it's a 30% drop chance, so that's not bad at all. Um, so with Inferium Essence well in hand, we're also going to need Prosperity Shards. So where do we get those from? It's an exceptional question, actually. Uh, we can sieve sand to get those. Okay. Your best chance is in Netherite, right? Yeah, it's all the same, actually. So grab a bunch of sand and sieve that. Let's just test that real quick. What I should do is make that a compression drawer, and then that would be a lot easier. You know what? That would be exceptionally smart of me to do. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. I do, I do love this new sieving stuff. I'm getting a lot of salt, that's for sure. Huh, that's interesting. I didn't get any prosperity shards from that. I had a 20% chance and I didn't get any. I'm not quite sure I understand some of these sieving recipes. Because, like... Sand. Oh, it also has an EMC value, by the way. So that makes life a little bit easier. Um, and the netherite mesh gets prosperity shards, right? But if you look at salt, in the netherite mesh, you get this stuff. So what's the difference between that sieve and this sieve? Why are there two different sieve lookups? Red sand, unfortunately, does not have an EMC value. I don't think you need red sand, though, right? Ah, don't do that. What are you doing? Stop that. I know what you're doing. You're doing the double click thing and you're grabbing the thing out of there. Fair enough. I'm just going to put a whole bunch in here and see if we get any prosperity shards. If not, I'll have to figure it out between episodes. Hey, there we go. Prosperity shards. All right, cool. So I guess there's like a chance you'll get the one thing with all the, you know, uranium and whatnot, and a chance you'll get the other thing. I honestly don't know. It's all good, though, because we've got prosperity shards. So we'll come back next episode. We'll get into mystical agriculture. We'll get basalt seeds going. Uh, I'll probably have to set up an area for doing mystical agriculture and maybe come up with a good way to... You know, make that super fast and OP, which I'm sure I can come up with. But for now, wrapping up point. Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.